why A is so, is so important nowadays. And when you are thinking about how to create your growth marketing strategy for your game, for your app, why, in our opinion, A is so, it's super important. And the first thing that we need to focus is, or the first thing that we need to really realize is why Black Cave is the right actor to really talk about ASO. And the first thing is because of our, our numbers. If you check our numbers, you will realize that Black Cave, in the whole history of our company, we've been also, we've been very focusing on ASO. The first number is that we've been able to reach more than 170 million organic downloads without any user acquisition, so all done through organic basis. We've been able to do that by launching more than 350 games in the market, which are which has been monetized mainly with uh, ads. Um, right now, just for you to have a rough idea about like our volume in, in ASO, we're currently around 70 million monthly ad impressions. So th this is the current status of Lag Cave. This is how. Uh, sorry, I would say like this is how. Black Cave, the current moment, the things that we've been doing, but we need to check the origin of everything of this because I really want you to understand why Black Cave has been working on ASO and, uh, and, and how we, uh, it, we, we've been working to, to get to this point. Okay, and for that, we need to go to the past, star history. And I'll be telling you a story about how we passed from nothing to more than 170 million organic downloads. And I want to share with you guys what we learned and how to apply all the things that we've learned to do business. And the beginning of this story is very, very sad. I must say that this story can make you cry. And this story has three main characters. Oscar, Fernando, and this little guy, Jeff Spey. Oscar, he used to be a techie, a programmer. Fernando, the current CEO of Lackade, used to come from the rap industry. He's been even working in New York City. And they have in common two things. They are brothers, and they love video games. So they decided to create a company and they spent one year working in what they thought it was going to be a great game, Jeff Space. But the, com the, the company didn't succeed. At the very beginning, when they spent more than a year without having a salary, just working very, very hard to get that game, they realized that the game didn't work. And they were this sad. They were almost broke. Their parents were almost broke. So they had to abandon their dreams and they had to start working for hire. So they, at the end, they were very, very far from what they expected. So this is very sad, right? But no worry, because this is like a happy ending story. Um, I want you to tell how this, how this story finally ended. So they were almost broke, no money, so they had to work for hire. And then a person appeared and put in the heart of Lack Cave ASO. This is a funny story. So at this point, it was like 2014, by the end of 2014. Someone from Estonia came and asked Fernando and Oscar to create like 100 very tiny game, 2D games. So they asked, okay, we'll do that, but why do you want that? I mean, what are you going to do with all these games? So they were, this guy told them, well, this is to organically position the games into the market. So it's like, Hey, so, so we we're talking here about the end of 2014, so almost no one really was really taking care of ASO. 
And this is the real beginning of Lac Cave. The current situation, the current Lac Cave, has its origins there. When I came, a guy from Estonia asked Fernando and Oscar to have more than to create more than 100 games, very two very small game, 2D games, and with this they were able to learn a lot about ASO. So next time this guy uh, came, um, they he asked the game for for more games. So Fernando said, "Well, hold on, let's." We prefer just to work and really use the model. And um, this is how we really become uh, actually a game manufacturer. Uh, like this was a total different approach from what Fernando and Oscar uh, had the, from what Fernando and Oscar thought a video game company was. So what we first learned like is to this in the market. So no matter if you're spending more than one year developing what you think is a great game, if the market don't, doesn't see it, then there's no point for you to have a real business and to scale your business. So first is about understanding the market. And this is how we were able to create the machine where we were producing a lot of different games, small games, uh, and we become game manufacturers in the way that car manufacturer used to work because we create, decided to create a, like a very lean production process where we were able to produce a lot of small tiny games and how we were able to, to do that first ASO the ASO team tried, has two main goals so first is identify what people are looking for into the different in store at the same time that they also try to identify how the algorithm uh, work. So this is something that very very hard because we're working here with like the two more I would say important but also secret algorithm in, in the in the technological world right now. So the, this uh, when with all that information about how people will looking for and what kind of thing users look at the store, ASU team decided what kind of game we were able to create and also decided the themes, also do the, all the launching, the localization, so pretty much they do, they have a lot of thing to decide at that point. And second step is, okay, second piece of learning is, in the past, Fernando and Oscar spent one year developing something that they didn't know how it worked. So this approach was, okay, rather than that, let's work on a minimum viable product where we really understand if the market likes or not our game. If yes, then keep working on improve the game and market it. And once, so it, this is a totally different approach. Unlike many companies where they spend a lot of time thinking, okay, how to build a great game and then put it in the market and then see how it works. In our cases, we decided, okay, let's work on a minimum viable product, market it, and then once we know that we're able to get organic traffic, we are able to update it and have much better monetization, much better analytics, but we try to spend the fewest possible resources in something that we didn't know how it worked. So this is at the end the total the total approach of what of how Lack Cave created its model, its ASO model. So at the end, as you can figure out, this is how Fernando and Oscar were the, this this happy they were they were when they discovered this model. Because they have they passed from being broken to become a, like a game manufacturer who produced more than 350 games with more than 70 million monthly ad impressions with more than 170 million organic downloads and with a very specialized team so this is also just for you to understand why so it's important and how like a become uh, that that factor so just to summarize 2013 GF space came up uh, 2014 work for hire 
2015, ASO for the first time, we decided to work pretty much on this. 2016, we become we passed from being a company with like 10 people to a company that with more than 60. And in 2017, last year, we become we became part of Five and Corporation. So right now, Lack Cave um, was a well, Black Cave was acquired by Five Corporation, and now we're part of, of this like 300 leading technological group with three main core businesses. They have like performance marketing, they have branding, and they have publishing. And Black Cave is under this publishing segment where we do publishing and also ASO. But let's focus right now on like ASO itself. So what does ASO really mean? The first thing that we need to understand here is ASO is a process. So it's not something that you just do want, but it's something that you are continuously doing. And it's a process which have two main goals. The first one is improving the visibility of your app. So you want your app to be more discoverable. So you want that people, when they, people look for something, they find your app. But also, we are, it's all about optimizing the conversion visit to instant rate which means once someone has checked my profile like the, 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 the app store profile how many of them have really installed because at the end we're talking about install and for that we have like two main we say like factors that we need to really take into account. On the one hand, we have off metadata and also off metadata. What that really means, so off metadata has to do with the number of installs, with the install frequency, with the user engagement, the ratings, the number of reviews, the backlink, etc. The off metadata, it's all about like the app title, the subtitle, the description, the category you're using, the visuals of the icons, all the screenshots, of the video, also the, develop, uh, the developer name, and also the app size. So when we're talking about the ASO, we are thinking about like, it's a process whose goal is, whose goals are improving app visibility, optimizing conversion visit to instant rate, and we need to consider off metadata and off metadata. And why ASO nowadays is so important? Well, we see here, it's so important first because it's a super crowded market. Right now, more than 3 million apps are available in Google Play and 2.2 million apps are available on the App Store. Then, and this is something that it's really, it, I would say it's the most important trend in the market right now, is that between 65 and 80% of global downloads comes from searches. That means that people look for things. So most of them, it's important to have been featured, it's important to like do like good UA, but at the end, most of the people search for their own apps. So your app, your game really needs to be there. And when people like arrive to a point where they really see your app, you have to do your best to convert that into an install. Okay? Then because it's it's I mean it permits a like really sustainable user acquisition. Right now, we're seeing CPI costs, which are, which are between three and five dollars CPI in tier one countries. Which means that unless you have like a big title, a big title with like a great LTV, otherwise you're it's pretty hard for you to scale based on user acquisition. So, with the right ASO, you're you're able to really have a blended CPI and really have that that effort because UA and ASO are complementary. So the better the ASO is, the better the user acquisition will be. So it's not something linear, but it's something exponentially. That exponentially increases the, the total number of installs. Also, it's about like traffic quality. The install, someone who is looking for something uh, and they found what they're looking for, it's a very high valuable user and also so it's also like a brand awareness. So it's important like to create that kind of branding when people are looking for something that they really find some kind of, of games. So here in like Cave, also we've been betting on technology. That's why we decided to create our own ASO bot. 
and that's also why uh, well, it's not also like about the, the, the team that we really have, but also the, the technology that we've been developing. On the one hand, uh, our ASO bot called ASO bot so far, it's still on, on beta, uh, and it's something that we use internally. Uh, but this is basically a system that is based on artificial intelligence and machine learning, and in a system that allow, help us with the keyword research. Keyword research is always the, very, the most time-consuming, uh, I would say, stage in any ASO strategy because you really need to see which kind of keywords do I need to check. Um, so, what does this bot do for us? Well, it searches. So, it automatically finds and filters across thousands of keywords for each platform. But not only fill, not only search them, but also they score them. They classify the data of more than 500,000 keywords in 12 different languages for Google Play and iOS, and they score them according to some the well according to some KPIs that we've been teaching the algorithm. But with all that information. We like, put all together and we're able to automatically track all those keyword downloads, conversion rates, competitors, uh, and also check A-B test and complete for a folio. So for us, it's like we have a system which allows us to really check all keywords and consider which one are the most valuable for our titles. Uh, according to some KPIs like volume or relevancy or complexity uh, to, um, also to historical data. So when we're seeing here about like ASO for game, why it's so important, in our case, as I already said, like ASO is something that people need to understand, it's a process and at the end it's all about improving visibility and also improving conversion rate. When I mean improving visibility, of course, like in current App Store, it's critical to, to have your, your app stand out. So your app metadata needs to be like fully optimized with keywords um, that users can really find find like what they're looking for. So you really need to work on being able to have like the best possible exposure of your app. Also, it's all about like com improving your conversion rate. So once your app is found, you really need to make sure that converting to install. It's very, very hard to get traffic into your app. So once you have it, you really need to work on having the best possible conversion. So about A-B test, having the best possible visuals, as well as uh, also localizing your app in all like available languages for different cultures are the kind of thing that you really need to be doing do you really need to be doing in order to have like best possible in, uh, conversion rate so when we're also thinking about like uh, KPIs when we're talking about ASO we're also talking about, about what kind of things really involve ASO well it's so so I want you to really like take some takeaways when you when you leave the audience say, well what I've learning so well, what should I take into account when I'm considering ASO so I really want you to have like important feedback of, of, of the kind of things that we really focus when we think when we're working about uh, our ASO uh, so for us I guess like for more many people who work on ASO important things are you need to have your metadata localized in every available language you need also to have native keywords, including the main one in titles and subtitles, uh, and in the short description in the case of Google Play. So it's it's really important to have that native keywords in in that sections. Also, you need need to work or to take into account about the, the frequency and the density of all this this keyword. So how many people are looking for that specific keyword how many similar keywords they're using. What's the density of using those keywords into my metadata? So all those kind of things are important for you to take into account. Also, uh, conversion rates. Here we see two, like 
conversion rate, install rate, imp so impression to install, how many people see my game and how many people really click on that, and the second impression like after I have the people in my profile page, how many people really install the game. So that's something that very very important, uh, considering also uh, that App Store, in the case of Google Play, for instance, is a very important benchmark to see like the conversion rates um, uh, with the category. So it's something that the that the algorithm takes uh, into account when when they are uh, utilizing that to like position your game. It's like well the benchmark category. So according to the different conversion rates. Also. Uh, the retention is important, that's something that also uh, Google Play Store uh, considers is how is the percentage of user retaining on day 1, 7, 15 and 30. Also ratings and review, like historical data from downloads and how your different uh, rating and number of review and quality also of review has been evolving are something that the algorithm uh, Take, take into account, consider something important uh, to position their game. So all those kind of things are super important if you have a, an app uh, and with the current mobile app ecosystem they really, they really uh, well, points you out in the right direction of how ASO needs to be considered when you're thinking about how to grow your marketing um, in, in any game or app. So. So far, we've been talking about the past of Black Cave, why Black Cave is the right actor to talk about that, how we've been developing a lot of know-how in our team, doing ASO to like a lot of different games, like how we've been doing also a lot of A-B tests. Also, we've been talking about why ASO is important, what's the current trend in the market, what we consider ASO is, but now let's focus more on some case studies that we've been doing internally to really check um, because I really want you to know how important ASO and what's the kind of results that you're able to get if you're doing a great ASO. So the first case study that I want to show you is uh, Responable. So this is a game developed by uh, Digital Legend. It's a company based in Barcelona. Um, with that Responable in Google Play we were able to, after like four different updates, we were able to really upgrade and to really improve the number of daily insults that they were uh, that they were seeing seeing in the charts. So, as you can see here, this is like the average before. So this means um, the numbers that they were having that that responsible were was having in Brazil, USA, Mexico, Russia, and Germany. In the case like Brazil was like twelve hundred. Uh, USA 400, Mexico is 600, uh, Russia 270, and Germany 80. Our ASO team, and this is something, it's, uh, this is related more about like the way we work, but we always run audit and to see how the app are doing the ASO and also how much potential the app, the app may have for the future, if you do the right ASO. So with the current, with the, the data that we saw from the responsibles, we were able to see that we still have like a lot of room to improve that. And we set the goal. We decided, okay, so in Brazil, we think we were, we were able to like achieve around like 1,500. Also in USA, where you're doing 400, I think I really can do like 1,000. Same in Mexico or like Russia, here you can see the numbers. So we started working, we started to do like several ISO updates and at the end we really saw like great results that it set it, the numbers that we set it as, as a goal. So in the case of Brazil, for instance, we were able to provide more than 300, sorry, 3,300 uh, daily installs. You have to think that we, they were doing like 1,200 before they started working together. In USA, they were doing 400, and after working with us, they start. They are doing around 1,700, 
and the same with the rest of the countries. So what, this is like the numbers, but let, let's keep working, let's, let's keep digging a little bit more about what all ASO updates really mean. What, how, how did we do all this and how did we achieve this great um, uplift in terms of organic traffic? Well, we were able here, the first ASO added to update the, the icon and the, and the metadata of the game. Then we also, we, we see how it worked, we increased it a little bit, but it wasn't that good, so we keep working on, on A-B test, and then after that we decided to also uh, work on a, on a new update, on a new ACOM, and then point we, see, we saw the first high, uh, of the, the first uplift. Um, so we were able also to keep working on improving the new, the new icon, working also on a lot of different A-B tests, and the fourth update, it was about like including a, like a much better localized metadata. So after all that work, we were able to really see an uplift in the, in the number of organic installs that Google Play uh, were, were having. This is all another, another chart for digital lane. In this case, this is something for, uh, for iOS. Um, it's pretty much the same. So here you can see like the, the result they were doing. This is what we do. So our first ASO included an ASO in like the five, in five top uh, languages. Also, we were able to update it, to update the, the icon and screenshots for the, for the Halloween version. We saw, uh, well, I, I hit, I like an important update, but we decided to keep working and we worked on a second update. Um, it's like, of course, we work on a new metadata and we did, uh, we changed the icon and the screenshots and here we were able to really see uh, the huge increase in number of daily installs. Here again in the chart, you're able to see the average uh, number of installs that they were doing uh, before we start working with like a so in USA for instance like it was like roughly 300 and at the end we are delivering uh, more than 1,000 uh, in the case of China for instance we are doubling their numbers uh, we're pretty much doubling the numbers in Mexico, France and many other countries so this is like the kind of thing that you're able to achieve when you really work on a good ASO um, this is also like 2018 Champions Soccer League, this is a game done internally. Um, uh, so here, uh, after several updates, we decided to, to also run a lot of updates. Um, on, the one, on the first one, uh, we updated the ASO in five languages, in the top, in the five most important one. The second one, we again updated, because this is, Something that when you're talking about ASO, you need, really need to consider that ASO is not something that you did just do once. As you can see here, sometimes you really need to keep working until you really see the results because you never know how it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna end. Here on the third update, this one, we did a, like a, an icon update after several A-B tests. Um, also, we decided here to uh, wide the number of of uh, languages where we're doing the, the metadata and we kept working on the on updating the, the icon and this point like we also uh, we were able to to reach the uh, some top of the chart in the in the sport free game category in Google Play like two second uh, sorry top two in, in France top three in Spain top three in Italy top six in Germany and top eight in, in Brazil this is Crossy Cooper. This is something like another game uh, where we were working for our publishing division. So here you can see the evolution of the number of installs, also the visits to the to the page profile page, and this is also the conversion rate. Here you can see after several updates, with the first one we did like an ASO metadata update. This one then we work on the screenshots uh, update. Also, we work on an, yeah, on an icon update. Uh, here, we work it on um, feature images. So, this means like in the, this whole process, you start like doing small, small things that really, at the end, end up in something really, really important and really, really great for, for, for the game. 
another case study like Prosecutor uh, for Google Play, how we were able also to, after several updates, to increase the conversion rate. Here you're able to see this yellow line, the average uh, of the organic conversion rate for the, for the category, in this case, arcade, arcade category, and how, after several updates, we were able to, to increase uh, and also to surpass the, um, the, um, the average of the category benchmark. So he also liked a great result done by, by our ASO team. This is also like the latest, like uh, one of the latest things that we are having right now is Cake Master cooking on Google Play and how A-B tests impact in, uh, in the different, in the different uh, metrics, especially in the number of install, but also in the number of pieces. So here you can see like how small differences can really see a huge, uh, a huge, they really can have like a huge impact in, in the number of downloads. Here is like the, the, the icon that, they were, that we were using at the, in the past. We started to work several ones. Here is like how when the, the, I could, the, the A-B test was applied and here another A-B test. So this is the final icon and just because of the icon, how we were able to, to increase the number of visits into the profile page and also the number of installs. So guys like ASO, it's, it's important, it's super important when you're considering ASO, sorry, when you're considering like a, any uh, growth strategy to consider ASO. Uh, ASO is not something that you just do once. No one, no one uh, have a magic wand to really like increase the number of traffic, but the only thing that we really can work is or the only thing that we really uh, can provide to the partners is hard work, is numbers, it's internal data and it's the experience of a team with a, a, a right now we're more uh, more than 20 people doing uh, ASO also a bet for technology and that's why companies like IDG or FT Games are still trusting in our services um, as an ASO provider so again like we are here to, to help, uh, we're here also to like really um, well really help like anyone who has uh, any game that may interested in, in ASO. Um, well again like I'm really sorry not being able to be with you today but I really expect that uh, you like it, the lecture and hope to see you soon in, a, in any other event. In any case like I want to like reach here my my information my contact information so if you have any question or something like I'll be happy to to answer so thank you um bye bye